welcome to another video, don't mind me, I have a blanket on. I was going to stand up and film this video and it's cold so I thought, no. Nope. <laughs> I've also got my hair up today, I haven't been able to wear my hair up in like a kind of a sleek look in such a long time because I had quite short bangs and then also I have growth from basically, this isn't breakage, this is from where my alopecia was. Um, so I had bald spots on my head and they started growing back and they're finally getting to a length where they're kind of picking up with the rest of my hair in like a mid pony. So I'm quite enjoying it. I'm enjoying having the freedom of having my hair up for the first time in a long time because growing out these little tufty bits where my bald spot was, they would grow and they would just like poke out. So they're finally gotten to like maybe this length so I can kind of tuck them up um, into a pony. So I am very happy that I'm making progress with my alopecia. Anyway, that's not what you're here for. You're here for the haul. So I have a Princess Polly haul for you guys. I'm actually working with Princess Polly over on my Instagram. So these items are PR samples, but this video isn't paid, but I am paid to, to do an ad on another platform just to be completely transparent with you guys. I have a standard UK size 10, 30 to 32 E cup chest, and I'm five foot one tall. Let's just get into it, shall we? So first off, I've got this dress, which is a long kind of champagne blush satin midi dress. As you can see there, it's got these lovely um, boning corset details at the front and it's also got this stunning kind of cowl neck the back is also cut out you're going to see this so much better on me um because like on a hanger it doesn't look like much but as soon as i put it on guys this this is the dress as soon as i put this on i was like oh my god i feel like a million dollars i feel so good in this dress it fits so well again i'm a 10 and it fits really really nicely um it has a zip that does up the side and then the backs are all elasticated so for girls with a bigger chest like me the elasticated back really really does help these bits here because they're nice and stretchy and the cowl neck then sits really nicely because the back is stretchy so it accommodates for your chest if that makes sense so it fits like in almost in a little kind of like a custom way um the color is also stunning i would say that it's probably not like a wedding guest dress could possibly be a bridesmaid dress but it's quite close to white as you can see i definitely think it's more of like a formal dress like a winter formal or maybe like a dressy birthday red tie event red tie event black tie event i was thinking like red carpet but black tie event um would this dress would look amazing i absolutely love it it looks so good on and it looks so much more expensive than it is it looks more like house of cb um i was really impressed with this one Next up is another satin number. This one has little cups for the chest, a little waist kind of cinching detail there. And the back is pretty much plain. It also has like an elasticated back as well, um, which I really like because I was scared that my chest wouldn't fit in this. It does have a zip up the back, but it has the elasticated back. And because the cups are quite small, I was a bit worried that this wouldn't fit because obviously I've got a e cup chest is would will they get will they gonna fit in his are the melons gonna fit and they do because the back is elasticated so again it's very flattering whilst it's on it's got this gorgeous pattern on um and i love the sort of champagne satin it fits so nicely again i got a size 10 um and i think for the price it is really really well put together and it looks so cute on like this with a pair of like knee high boots and a blazer I think is just like a perfect kind of chic look and um, if you don't want to wear anything like too dressy or you think this might be a bit exposing on its own you could totally style it with a pair of knee high boots and a blazer gorgeous okay so next up we have this dress it is a stunning kind of wine burgundy red wrap style dress I say style because it is a zip back so the whole dress is zip up and then this is just a detail, so you can undo this and the dress is still together. Do you know what I mean? You don't actually wrap it, but it's a really nice flattering little aspect of the dress. It's got a lovely square neck line, which I think it brings it more modern, whereas the rest of the dress with the puffy sleeve and then the waist tie is a little bit more of like a classic look, but the square neck just brings it into like this year. It brings it into like a more modern version of other dresses I've seen like this that have like a v-neck 
or um, are a high neck, I just feel like it's a little bit more modern, a little bit more flattering as well with that square neckline. The material is like a really nice thick linen style material, very soft, very comfortable. Out of all the dresses, this is probably the most comfortable and probably the most flattering, to be honest with you. I was just like, wow, I could wear this for drinks, I could wear it for food, I could wear it to any kind of Christmas event and feel so comfortable. It's also suitable for other events, not just like a Christmas event. It's definitely that kind of festive colour, but you could also keep, I'm going to wear this for my birthday, I think in January. Um, it's just such a lovely colour, like this with like a red lip. I think it's just going to look absolutely phenomenal. I love the fact it's long sleeve, so it's a little bit warmer and you could totally wear this with leg, like knee high boots um, or tights. So yeah, I absolutely love this one. Again, size 10 fits perfectly. Next up, I have one jumper to share with you guys. So this one is a, oh, wrong way around. This one is a small to medium and it is huge. I was gonna buy this in the large because like I'm really enjoying those oversized um, jumper looks recently. Um, you would have seen in my last video, which is like my knitwear haul, I have been enjoying a larger um, pieces of knitwear. But um, I read the reviews and the reviews on Princess Polly are actually very helpful because so many people were like, don't size up. It's already super oversized. You only need to size up, really don't size up. So I listened, I did listen. I was like, okay, if enough people are saying don't size up, I'm not gonna do it because I just, I feel like that's there for a reason. Like people are saying, don't size up for a reason. So I didn't. I'm glad I didn't because this is a small to medium. It is um, very oversized, but I love it. This is such a comfortable jumper. You could wear it untucked like this with a pair of leggings. You could tuck it into shorts. You can tuck it into a skirt. You can, you can tuck it. You can have it out. The sleeves themselves, this little section, as you can see, is quite small. So it's not like this. They're like very like small to the wrist which means that these sleeves end up being like really nice, big, baggy balloon sleeve. This is just the perfect oversized, throw it on, looks chic style knit. I cannot go over how much I love this. It's also in like a really unique stone color, which I like. It's not um, like a beigey off-white that you normally get for jumpers. It's like a really nice, stunning, yeah, weird, like an oatmeal color. Absolutely adore it. I'd say out of everything in this order this is the most this is the one's gonna get most wear for sure next up i've got one jacket so this is from a brand called lioness which is stocked on princess polly i believe i don't know if it's like a sister brand or not but um this is from lioness official it is in a size medium so um i think it was recommended small was like a size 10 so i got a medium so it was a little bit bigger um it's listed itself as an oversized coat jacket an oversized jacket already so um, I didn't want to go too much bigger because it is supposed to be more cropped and I absolutely love it look at all of that detail I just think it's gorgeous it's nice and thick it sits really nicely like on the body I just think it looks so good it looks so much more expensive than it was it looks like you can tell it just looks really really classic this is gonna be in my wardrobe for the foreseeable future. I just don't see myself ever getting rid of something like this, giving it to a friend or to charity or anything like this. I just see myself having this forever. It just seems like one of those forever pieces for me. Like I, gra I will gravitate towards this. And I feel like anything you style this with becomes more instantly chic. And I think this with a pair of like high knee leather boots, like brown boots, oh, chocolatey goodness. I cannot wait to wear this. I'm just so excited by the fit and the colour and the texture and the oversizedness. Everything about this is what I like in a leather jacket. Next up is a pair of denim. So I actually really wanted one of these crossover waist style jeans for a long time. And because I am five foot one and they don't really come in petite, I've been very apprehensive about getting a pair. But when I saw these on the website, they're by... Um, I think it's just Princess Polly Denim. It says PP Denim. Um, I thought it was a brand originally, but I am pretty sure that that is just the Princess Polly Denim. I got them in a size 10, fit perfectly. Like I, everything in this haul fits perfectly <laughs> in my size. Like I got my normal size and it fits perfectly. So I must say Princess Polly sizing is doing really well. Um, I did another video with another Princess Polly haul, which was for summer, I'll put a card up here. Um, and things were just slightly on the larger side and, and it was a bit um, hit and miss with the sizing. But the sizing on everything that I got 
has been perfect. Anyway, back to the jeans. They have these little rips on the knees and I'm not entirely sure if I'm 100% on the rips. I, I'm not sure, but I feel like I liked them when I saw them styled online. I think I just need to play around with the styling a bit. And these are definitely jeans that I will probably more get out in like March time. Princess Polly are an Australian brand, I think Australian owned brand. So maybe there might be something to do with like why these jeans with these holes are like available at this time of year. But um, they're definitely something I would probably whip out like March, April time. I'd even wear these in the summer with a little crop top on days where it's not too hot. Um, again, I'm thinking into the future, but I'm thinking about the wearability of my clothes, how long I'm gonna wear them, when I'm gonna wear them, if I'm gonna enjoy them. And I definitely feel like this fit because of how flattering it is and how comfortable they are, they're so comfortable. Um, I just feel like I'm gonna get so much good use out of these in the summer months. So if you're looking for one of these kind of crossover style fit jeans, I'd definitely check out Princess Polly. Also, they're very comfortable. Um, usually um, jeans are a little bit uncomfortable for me um, because I've got a small waist, I've got a larger bum and thighs, and I'm short. Sometimes jeans can be a nightmare to find, but I think that these are really comfortable. Honestly, in a size 10 is perfect sizing and it is a really comfortable pair of jeans. I probably will have to chop maybe like an inch off the bottom. They're just slightly too big for me to wear with my docks, I think. So maybe just an inch. Um, I, I won't rehem it. I will just leave it as like a raw edge. But yeah, I think these would definitely be making an appearance a bit more like March, April time. But I'm glad I have them in my closet because they're so flattering and so comfortable. Last but not least, I feel like you guys can be like, oh, really? I got two pairs of the same trousers, okay? They're the same trouser. Let me find out what the trousers was actually called. I don't have the tag on them. I took the tag off because I have worn them. Um, I'll have to look online and I'll put down below like what they're called, but they're the same, they're the same trouser. They're the same name. Do you know what I mean? They're literally the same. They're just two different colorways. And um, let's talk about the chocolate pair first. I wanted a really nice pair of brown trousers that wasn't too like rich chocolate. I'm talking like cappuccino chocolate, like coffee chocolate, you know, something that's a little bit, um, a little bit more understated. I feel like I got that with these trousers. I feel like the color is really, really nice. And also the texture on them, they just feel very lightweight. They're very, very comfortable. The waistband is nice and thick. They're airy, they're flowy. One thing, again, I'm five foot one, I will have to rehem these, but it doesn't seem like much of a problem. I think they'll be okay to do. I am looking forward to <laughs> attempting to rehem these myself. I'm gonna give it a go, but um, I think that they're gorgeous, so much so that I do also love the charcoal. So these are definitely like a charcoal gray. You know, people like charcoal gray, but then it's kind of like that lighter gray. I have a pair of light gray trousers that um, that just weren't deep enough for me for some of my styling. I just wanted a pair that were a little bit more versatile, but weren't black. So you can see here, I could easily wear this jumper with these um, charcoal trousers and it would just add a little bit more depth and dimension to an outfit. Um, I also think this color of gray, this charcoal-y color is always very chic. I feel like it just looks good on everyone because it's just it's not black but it's just something a little bit different that sort of dark charcoal gray um yeah i absolutely love them they have pockets tick they've got belt loops tick and also that thick waistband that i love because it just is very comfortable um with a zip and a button um, no hook and eye or anything it's like an actual button so yeah top marks from me the size 10 fits so well I was in shock. There's still a little bit of room for like comfort and movement, but not so much that they're like falling down. They're like the perfect size on my waist. Um, again, I will have to take them up. They are just like literally just too long for me to wear with my docks. So I will have to take them up by, I'm thinking maybe half an inch because I still want them to be quite long um, to wear with my um, docks and chunky trainers for like springtime um, and more like docks and chunky boots now. But yeah, I would 100% recommend these. They come in like five different colors or something like that. And the fit and the quality is just stunning. They're rated really highly on the website and I totally see why because I'm so glad I picked them up. 
they are going to be staples in my wardrobe and they're so wearable and can be worn in multiple seasons and year after year so they're a really good investment okay so i got one accessory i wasn't planning on getting an accessory but i thought i would pick up some sunnies because i've been looking at getting a pair of the oval rayburn sunnies and when i saw these i was like oh they just look like dupes and um, if I'm really thinking of investing in the Ray-Bans, maybe I could try these first and see if I really need or want the Ray-Bans, if you know what I mean. So I picked these up, they're like a cute little oval shape, I just thought they'd be really cute for like styling, they also look cute like on the head. So yeah, I just thought that they would be a nice little addition to my wardrobe. I am one of those people that likes wearing sunglasses in winter, so um, I thought they'd be like a nice little addition. Okay guys, that is everything in today's haul. My favorite piece, the long um, satin midi dress, I think was just phenomenal. It looks so good on, I was so surprised because on the rack it doesn't look that much, it looks a bit old. But um, when it arrived I was like, I don't even know if this is gonna fit me, it looks very long. My like my chest, I don't know if they're gonna fit. And I put it on and I was like, damn. Don't make your mind up about clothes when they're on the hanger. Put them on first <laughs> because I was wowed. I'm also so impressed just generally with the sizing of all of these Princess Polly pieces. I didn't have a single item that didn't fit or was ill-fitting. They all fit as a size 10 should on a, a standard size 10. And that really impressed me because uh, I, I guess I think I've been shopping at places like Zara a lot and um, in Zara I'll have a small in one thing, a medium in the other and then a large won't fit me in certain items and it just doesn't make any sense. So it's nice to see some consistency with the sizing and I know now if I want anything from Princess Polly I just need to look for a 10 or a small to medium and that is my size and I think that they're, they're getting better with size consistency because everything fits so well, like both, both the trousers and the jeans perfect fits in terms of my my um my the waistband they're so comfortable and um that jacket oh, like wardrobe staple such a classic piece and i can't wait to have that in my wardrobe and keep it on rotation because i'm gonna get such good wear out of it don't forget to let me know your favorite piece in the haul in the comment section and down below if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content from me and i will see you lovely lot in the next one bye